In 1920, a Czech writer named Karol Čapek introduced a new word to the world, robot. His play, R.U.R., showed a factory making artificial people. These beings, called roboti in Czech, were made to work. Čapek's play explored the big questions about what this technology could mean. The word robot wasn't all Karol's idea. His brother, Joseph, suggested the word. It came from the Czech word robota, which means forced labor. The play's ideas about automation and unfair treatment of workers were relatable all over the world. RUR opened in Prague in 1921 and became internationally famous. The play was translated into over 30 languages and introduced the word robot to English in 1922. Right from the start, the word robot shaped how we think about artificial beings and their place in our world. Chapek's robots were more like clones than machines, created from biological stuff. But his play got a whole new group of scientists and engineers excited about making this fiction a reality. The quest to build mechanical beings that could do things on their own began. The first tries at making robots were basic, looking more like wind-up toys than complex machines. These early creations were the first steps, pushing the limits of what technology could do. Even though they couldn't do much, these early robots captured people's imaginations, making them dream of a future where machines could help humans in many ways. The idea of robots, once just a sci-fi fantasy, was slowly but surely becoming real. The middle of the 20th century saw big steps forward in robotics. William Gray Walter, a brain doctor from Britain, made the first electronic robots that could move on their own in the late 1940s. His creations, named Elmer and Elsie, were simple but groundbreaking. Meanwhile, in America, George Devol got a patent for the first industrial robot, Unimate, in 1961. Unimate was a robotic arm that you could program to do the same tasks over and over. Devol's invention was a turning point, paving the way for using robots in factories. Japan became a leader in robotics in the late 1900s. Japanese companies really believed in a future where robots and humans worked together, so they put a lot of money into research. Japanese companies didn't just make robots for factories, they made them to help people and for fun too. From robot pets to robot helpers, Japan embraced robots as part of their everyday lives. This, along with their amazing technological innovation, made Japan a robotic superstar. Japanese companies are still leading the way in things like humanoid robots, personal robots, and robots for factories. Defining a robot. Sensors, actuators, and intelligence. So, what makes a robot a robot? Robots might look different and do different things, but they all have three main parts, sensors, actuators, and programs. These parts work together so robots can understand their surroundings, make choices, and take action. Sensors are how robots learn about the world around them. These sensors can detect things like light, sound, touch, and temperature, helping robots understand their surroundings. Actuators, like motors, are what make robots move and interact with things. A robot's brain is its programming, Software gives robots instructions on how to understand what their sensors tell them, make decisions, and control their movements. This programming is super important for a robot to work on its own and do different tasks. Beyond the human form, the diverse world of robots. Robots don't always look like humans like we see in movies. There are all kinds of robots made for all sorts of jobs and places. Some robots are made for exploring dangerous places like the deepest parts of the ocean or outer space. Others help with surgery, giving doctors super precision and steadiness. From tiny nanobots to giant factory robots, there are so many shapes and sizes of robots that it's getting hard to tell the difference between machines and living things. This just goes to show how adaptable robots are and how much potential they have to solve problems and create opportunities. As technology gets better, we can expect even more creative and specialized robots that will change industries and our lives. Breaking Barriers Mika, the robot CEO In 2022, 
a company in Hong Kong called Hanson Robotics did something groundbreaking. They made a robot named Mika their CEO. Mika, a humanoid robot with artificial intelligence, became the world's first robot CEO. Mika's appointment got everyone talking about the future of work and how humans and robots will work together. Some people believe that robot CEOs can make fair decisions based on data, which could make companies more efficient and productive. Mika's role is mostly symbolic, but it shows us a possible future where robots are in charge. This brings up ethical and societal questions about who's responsible, transparency, and what happens to human jobs. Reaching for the stars. NASA's Robonaut program. Robots have become essential for exploring space. NASA's Robonaut program, which started in the 1990s, is all about making humanoid robots that can help astronauts in space. Robonauts are made to do the dangerous and difficult jobs in space. With their advanced sensors, moving parts and artificial intelligence, Robonauts can work with astronauts, using tools, fixing things, and even doing science experiments. These robots help us do more in the tough environment of space. Making Robonauts is a big step towards having humans live beyond Earth. As we explore more of space, robots will be even more important for exploration, building, and making discoveries. A future shaped by robots, challenges and opportunities. From stories to factories, operating rooms, and even the vastness of space, robots have come a long way. The future of robotics is exciting, with big changes and challenges. As robots get smarter and more independent, we need to think carefully about how to use them ethically, create rules for them, and think about how they'll impact society. Talking about these challenges is really important if we want to unlock the full potential of robotics. The story of robots is still being written. Robots will keep changing our world in big ways. Understanding what they can do and how they'll impact us is key to navigating the future.